so it's a black IKEA desk. This is on her podcast. I just wanted to come on here quickly before the video starts and say that this is not the end of the moving vlogs. Um, we're just waiting for like a couch and a TV console. So the moving vlogs are paused for now because we really have nothing else to do. So we're just waiting on the couch and the TV console. Once that comes in, we're gonna start decorating and then that'll be like a whole other like continuation of the series. So right now, in the meantime, while we're waiting for that stuff, um, I'm just gonna be posting like normal vlogs. So yeah, the moving series is not over, so don't worry. There's gonna be like lots of decorating vlogs and stuff coming up and shopping. So yeah, we're just putting a little pause on that for now. Love you guys. Hello you guys, what is up? So I am currently about to go out. I thought I'd keep it really comfy, casual. I swear adding literally a shoulder bag to anything just makes you look so much more put together. I don't know what it is, but literally get a shoulder bag, add it to your outfit. This is literally the one that's thrifted. Add it to literally a sweatshirt and sweatpants and it makes you look 10 times more put together than you actually are. And add some jewelry too. Anyways. I am about to go shopping with Sadie and Madison because we are going out this Friday, this Friday, which is tomorrow, because it's Madison's 19th birthday, and when you turn 19 here, you're legal in Canada or in BC, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. We're just going shopping to get some dresses because we want to look cute, so we're going to go see what the mall has for tomorrow. Oh, well, it's also like really late. It's like 5 o'clock right now. I feel like the mall closes in a couple hours, so hopefully we'll be quick. What is up? It is currently 1.40 and today I'm going out celebrating Madison's birthday. Julia is going to be here in a bit. She's coming before Sadie and Madison because she's just going to come straight from school. And I live pretty close to her school, so that's what's happening. And then we want to go out for a bit just to get some balloons. Um, pick something up in the mall and then just get some drinks and stuff and then Sadie and Madison aren't gonna come until like five o'clock ish So I hope Julia is gonna be here soon and her class finishes early but Anyways, I just got out of the shower and yeah, I think I'm gonna curl my hair tonight because I haven't literally curled my hair in like I don't even remember the last time. So I'm definitely gonna curl my hair tonight and Yeah, I'm actually gonna When I try on what I'm gonna wear tonight, I'm gonna show you guys because I got Something from Maritzia yesterday. I realized I didn't update you when we went shopping. I'll show you guys that later because um, I still don't know what I'm going to wear. But yeah, I'm going to try and vlog as much as possible tonight because I want to capture this. So yeah, that's the plan. My first kind of time having friends sleep over here. It's going to be fun. But it literally feels so good to have clean hair. I don't know if it's just me, but when my hair is like, greasy, it like offsets my mood like so much. Like my hair being greasy just makes me a little angry. Not going to lie. So now it's nice and fresh. Tonight. Okay, Julia's just about to pick me up and we're gonna go run some errands. This is my fit. I literally, my hair is just a mess, so I put it up in a bun. And I literally look kind of like a hobo, but you know what? It's okay. I just got my little cute purse on, my little cute slippers, and we're just gonna go run a couple errands. Start of the birthday bash. Just finished getting ready. Here is my fit. This is the skirt that I got from Aritzia. The shirt's from H&M and then the blazer's from Princess Polly. Um, yeah, so this is the fit. I just curled my hair, kind of. It's kind of wavy now, but I haven't curled it in so long. I took a couple of shots and drinks, so I'm a little bit tipsy right now, not gonna lie. Here's the birthday girl. Cute, cute. This one is for Madison's birthday. She's a beautiful girl. She's my sister. I love her. Good night. She's everybody's little sister. Madison and Michaela. Michaela. Good night. That tequila is so nice. Yep, thank you. Orange that tequila, guys. So, our Uber's about to arrive. We can't even take any photos. Let's take one quickly. Guys, 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 we gotta go. We gotta go. No, the Uber's gonna call me when he's here. We can take photos. Hello you 
guys. It is the day after. It is Saturday. Madison, Sadie, and Julia, they slept over. We actually, we had one air mattress here and then we blew up another air mattress that I already put away. It's literally right there. So we had two mattresses, air, two air mattresses out. I did want to get more content last night, but okay, I always do this where I'm like, I'm going to get so much content like when I go out and stuff, but it's so hard when you're drinking, when you're getting ready, when you're having a good time. Like it's so hard to like pull out the camera because you're not really like thinking about it, especially when you're drinking. So, <laughs> but anyways, it was such a fun night and yeah, I'll include pictures and photos and stuff, but such a fun night and happy birthday, Madison. Love you. But anyways, so today I'm honestly not like hungover. I mean, I don't feel like 100%, but I didn't have that much to drink. I'm honestly the type of person that can drink like more than a day in a row, even next weekend. Like it's my birthday on Thursday and I think I just want to have like the night in. Like to be honest, I think that's what I want to do for my birthday. Like I, I do like going out, but at the same time, I love staying in. Like I'm such a freaking homebody as well, but it's always good to go out to have a, a good time. Anyways, so Julia bought me and Madison for our birthdays this 818 tequila. Um, this is Kendall Jenner's tequila brand and it is a very expensive. It's like an $85 bottle. I just wanted to tell you guys, if you're of age and you've never tried it, I we thought it was really, really good. Um, like after taking the shot, you don't really feel um, like you want to throw up if that makes sense. Like it, it's really smooth and it has like a really nice vanilla taste to it. Um, yeah, honestly, I would rate this 10 out of 10. Not that I'm a tequila connoisseur, but it was so good and so easy to drink. So yeah, if you guys have this in your area, totally recommend checking it out. And I'm from Canada and I think that they literally just got this in the BC liquor stores, which is really cool. But anyways, we really love that. And Joel actually picked up a desk today. He got it off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, so this is the desk. So it's a black Ikea desk and it's just fits so nicely. And now he has a desk to do his work because he works from home as well. Usually he goes into work maybe like once or twice a week, but mostly from home. So it's good. He has a nice desk here. We've just been using this to like dry our clothing like from the laundry because we don't have like a thing to hang clothes on yet to dry them. So Joel just put his stuff here to dry, but then... Yeah, anyways, that's what we're using it for right now. Um, these are just empty boxes here, and then I'm trying to sell this. So this is on Facebook Marketplace right now. I'm trying to get rid of it. And yeah, other than that, just got to put away this today. And we're actually cleaning right now because we want to get everything kind of sorted. So when the couch comes, we'll literally have everything ready. I can't wait for the TV console as well. Hello, you guys. I don't know if you can hear, but it is literally pouring rain. I was so disappointed. Like, it is March, middle of March almost now, basically middle of March, and it's so cold and it's raining and the weather is so gross. It just, ah, I just really want the sun. Like, we got some taste of the sun, like, a few days ago, and it was really nice. And then, like, when the rain comes back, it's, like, so disappointing. And it's supposed to rain all week. <laughs> Oh my god, that really sucks. But what can you do? Oh my god, there's a rainfall warning. Oh my god, that literally sucks. Anyways, I just got to my COVID test and it's at like the studio over there. And there's they said there was no parking in the studio, so I have to walk there because I just literally parked in like a parking lot um, for like a shopping center because there is no street parking that I can find. So now I have to walk there in the rain and it's cold. Anyways, I, I should stop complaining because there's worse things going on in the world and you know what like sometimes it's like we treat our little problems like huge deals when in reality like people are literally dying in war right now um, which is a, literally the saddest thing ever and yeah so every time I have a problem like this um, I just think like I'm so lucky you know, you got to turn it around. You got to turn your problems into privileges. That's like literally one of the best lessons that I've learned is that like our most of our everyday little problems, they're not actually problems, like they're privileges. Um, and once you think about it like that, 
it like changes everything and it changes your mindset anyways i'm in a smoothie to go because i wanted something healthy but i think i'm just gonna go bite the bullet and walk over there in the rain I have an umbrella at least, so it's not that bad. I'm just gonna go do my COVID test and then come back and then we're gonna go grocery shopping together. I have a big grocery shop to do because last time we were grocery shopping, we were kind of only shopping for like pantry stuff for like chips and stuff when we have friends over. But now we need like a big grocery shop for like fresh stuff and stuff to make for dinner this week. So we're gonna do that. Okay, let's go get tested. Hopefully I don't get soaked and wet. Let's go. so many groceries i just called joel to come and help me because there's no way i can bring all this um up alone plus i also got a package so this ain't happening <laughs> So I got back from the grocery store. I just ate. I was literally so ravenous. I came home and I'm like, I need food. So I just made eggs with spinach and a cheese bagel. My obsession right now. But I'm going to give you guys a grocery haul in one second. But I just wanted to say, um, I found this almonds and oat non-dairy caramel macchiato Starbucks creamer. And I have been looking for this shit forever because every single store that I've been to only had the dairy version. And I don't like drinking dairy in my coffees. Like I like it, I like to stick to non-dairy coffees just so I've reduced my dairy in that way. And I've been trying to find the non-dairy one for so long now. So once I found it, I literally jumped for joy, okay? And I just tried it. It is so good. It literally, like, my go-to drink when I go to Starbucks is the caramel macchiato. And it tastes exactly like a caramel macchiato. Like, it gives it that taste. It's a specific taste in the caramel macchiato that I haven't been able to recreate with just caramel. But putting this in makes it taste like their caramel macchiato and it's so freaking good. So if you guys like their Starbucks's caramel macchiato, then I would 10 out of 10 recommend getting this because it makes your drink, makes your coffee taste like it. So freaking good. Like I'm literally gonna be using that for my coffees from now on. That is so good. Okay, so here is a little grocery overhaul. I did more produce this time. Last time it was more like pantry food. Also, if you didn't notice, I lost a nail in the making. <laughs> I actually need to get these taken off anyway, so it's like whatever, but I need to book an appointment ASAP now. Anyways, so here's a little grocery haul. Got some bananas because we like to wait until these ripen and then freeze them for our smoothies. I got a lot of garlic because I honestly didn't even need this much. This is like so much garlic, but it was on sale. And it was so much cheaper than buying a couple of them. Like this was so much cheaper. So I got this and I searched it up and it said that garlic can last for up to six months in the fridge. So yeah, honestly, I probably won't need to buy garlic hopefully for another six months. So this will stock us up, which is nice. Got some tomatoes because I want to make some shrimp tacos for one of our dinners this week. Got a bag of avocados. We got some sourdough bread. We got some cans of tuna because it's just nice to have in the pantry. I got red onion, coleslaw mix, and coleslaw dressing because I like putting that in the shrimp tacos, which we're going to make this week. Um, got a nice big tin of strawberries because I just love having fruit to eat, and strawberries are one of my favorites. So I'm going to be snacking on these. Um, I got chicken broth because I really want to make a soup this week. Um, pickles just to have. I got red wine vinegar. And then I got some baking stuff. I got some baking powder and then cocoa powder just because I didn't really have much baking supplies yet. So I got that so now I can actually bake stuff because I already have flour and coconut sugar. And then I got brown sugar as well. Um, I got some white potatoes to make some fries. And then I got some yellow potatoes for um, soup I want to make. Got some broccoli for tonight's dinner, some kale for the soup I'm gonna make. And then I got this oat, 
cooking creamer. This is my favorite because when a recipe calls for cream, this is basically like a non-dairy version that you can add and it's so good and thick. And yeah, I really like this. And then I just got this oat milk. This is the Earth's Own Naked and it just has four ingredients. It's organic. Put some stuff already away in the freezer and stuff. I got another bag of frozen fruit because we were going through this one pretty fast. Um, I got some shrimp for our shrimp tacos this week. I also got a big carton of organic free run eggs. It was like 30 eggs for $14, which is a really good deal for organic and free run. So I picked that up. I got some more cheese bagels and then I got some turkey bacon. I got some beef for the stir fry tonight. And then I got some Italian sausage for the soup that I'm gonna make. And yeah, it's basically the grocery haul. I also forgot to mention I got some spinach under here. I just forgot because the kale was on top of it, but I got some spinach because I just love using this and incorporating it into my meals just to get some greens in like for breakfast and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna put this all away now. Just finished putting away everything and cleaning the kitchen and it looks so good it feels so good to have a clean kitchen i just have like my water and my coffee that i'm still drinking here but other than that everything is cleaned um i am doing a load right now in the washer of the dish towels and dishcloths just to get those washed and yeah other than that everything is so clean i realized that we still need a kitchen soap dispenser but we haven't been able to find like one that we like we just kind of want like a black plain soap dispenser and we haven't been able to find one so we're still on the lookout for that so basically for the kitchen i think that's all that's missing but things are really coming together i put away the avocados and the bananas in this glass bowl that i got from ikea and i really like the way that it looks like it looks really pretty on the counter so i think i might use this as like a fruit bowl because it really does look cute i don't even think that's what it's meant for but i guess it's just like multi-purpose so it doesn't really matter but yeah, and then I got these tulips from Joel's parents for um, my birthday dinner yesterday, which was really nice. And I had to get rid of the other flowers I had in the kitchen because they were getting really old, so I just ran them down to the compost and stuff. But these look so cute, and they're so spring. I'm in love. But yeah, the kitchen just looks so clean and sleek right now. You guys, I'm actually about to do something really exciting right now. I'm about to be on somebody's podcast her name is jada and her podcast is called high key adulting i don't know when she's gonna release the episode i'm just about to hop on the call with her and start to film the podcast like this is the first podcast that i'm ever gonna be on which is so exciting when the episode comes out i will definitely obviously let you guys know but be on the lookout for it anyways i'm so excited i'll post it on my instagram too so make sure you're following me on instagram you don't want to miss out because I don't really post on Instagram that often, but I do post stories. So, Hello. guys, this is Jada. I was just on her podcast, the first podcast I've ever been on. It was so chill. Thank you. Yeah, All you do is talk, and we're both good at that. So, it honestly felt like we were on like a FaceTime. I know. I like, and then, and then now we realize like it's gonna be broadcasted to people who are gonna listen about our therapy sessions. So. <laughs> it's like a it's like a FaceTime call that's like recorded and then put out like a yeah. like a YouTube video but audio form. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we talked about we talked about parents approval. We talked about mm -hmm. living your life for yourself. Anything else that goes spirituality like spirituality. um breaking yeah, yes breaking the boundaries of life. Yeah. We honestly yeah, just, on, honestly, life. we just talked about life in general too. Like just life. And that's all you can vibe on, you know? Everyone's living their own like, human experience. You just gotta vibe and that's, that's what we talked about. Okay, I just got off the podcast with Jada and it's gonna be up in time for me to link it in this video. So you guys don't even have to wait because by the time this video comes out, the podcast is gonna be out. So I'm literally so excited. Go click when you're done watching this video. Go click the link, save it to your watch later or whatever and then watch it whenever you can or listen to it it's a podcast but literally she's the sweetest person ever and we have like really similar views and everything and yeah it's so cool to like meet people over the internet too but yeah it was such a fun and good episode and i'm so excited for you guys to hear it so go click the link below and watch it whenever you can anyways so it's literally 8 30 right now and i want to make dinner i know it's so late but like i haven't eaten anything because we started recording at 7 
and I didn't eat dinner before that because I was just editing. So I think I'm gonna make dinner right now because why not? Like who cares? I can have a late dinner. It's my house. I can do what I want. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so here's what I made. I just cooked the beef in here with some olive oil, and then once it was almost done cooking, I added the broccoli, and then once all of it was done cooking, I just put the teriyaki sauce on it, and then we just have some rice here. So that's gonna be dinner. I honestly love beef broccoli bowls. Like, it's probably one of my favorite dishes. Literally so good. sunset light set up behind me so that's why the lighting is kind of cool and yellow but anyways i just want to come on here and talk a little bit about money and stuff because money is something that so many of us stress about so much every single day like it's something that basically rules our life money is basically everything because you need money to live you need money to eat you need money to basically breathe at this point it's something that's hard not to stress about because it's something that you always need and obviously like moving out now it can get stressful and like especially with taxes coming up like that's a whole other thing that I, like my brain wants me to stress about for anybody who's stressing out about money or stressing out about anything anything in general um personally what helps me is just zooming out and what i mean about zooming out is looking at life as a whole and literally zooming yourself out of the planet imagine yourself in outer space this is going to sound weird but hear me out imagine yourself in outer space looking down at the world none of this shit like n money materialistic items none of that really matters when you die what are you taking with you you're taking your experiences with you you're taking everything but like materialistic items and money basically if you're ever stressing just realize that like there's a way bigger purpose to life than having so much money in the bank than having so many materialistic items like there's so there's a much greater purpose to life than all of that and that's why that's what settles my stress down a little bit like when tax season's coming up it's like it's obviously stressful and like so many people stress about money obviously it's something probably the world's biggest thing to stress about um so just think of it like that like when you die you're not taking any of your money with you that number in your bank account does it really matter at the end of the day and once you let that stress go about money and everything you i promise you like money will come way easier and you will have so much more financial freedom because when you're not attached to something like that the universe is literally going to give it to you without you even trying the months that i don't worry about money is the months where i make the most money and it sounds so ironic but it's so true because if you put your focus on you stressing out about money all the time and all that shit then you're that's what the universe is going to keep giving you because that's all you're focusing on what you focus on grows i'm kind of trying to rewrite in my brain what money means it's helped me a lot with not having to stress out about it so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i literally love you guys so so much like you don't even know and you don't even know how much i literally appreciate you watching this video right now you mean the world to me yeah thank you guys so much for watching